Shalom. Einstein and the Messiah. A century ago, Albert Einstein published his general theory of relativity, in which he developed further his ideas of space and time. The classical model of a world of three dimensions of space, width, length and height, with time being an independent quantity, was superseded by an intertwined four-dimensional world of space-time. It is fascinating to observe a Kabbalistic parallel to this notion in the description of the birth of Yehuda or Judah. Leah, Jacob's wife, had given birth to three sons, Reuven, Shimon and Levi, in quick succession. The Torah then states she conceived again and bore a son. She said, this time I will praise God. That is why she named him Yehuda, and she stopped giving birth. The name Yehuda in due course came to be associated with all of Jacob's descendants who are called Yehudim, Judas or Jews. This is seen as more than an accident of genealogy. The very name Judah expresses the identity and essence of our people. The mystical text, the Zohar, explains that the Hebrew word Yehuda contains the four letters of God's name, Yud, He, Vav and He, plus the letter Dalet, which has the numerical value 4. When the Torah states that with the birth of Yehuda, she stopped giving birth, there is the suggestion that all of life and creation as it affects the Jew is in some symbolic way subsumed in the name Yehuda. The letter Dalad alludes to the four dimensions in the world that God created for the Jewish people to achieve their destiny. With Einstein's insight, we can suggest that the four dimensions of interconnected space-time represent for the Jew an existence that transcends the classical constraints of space and time in surviving historical forces that have wiped out many a great empire. We are currently undergoing in Israel and in Gaza the latest round in a struggle we have endured since the beginning of our existence as a people. In the words of Vahisha Amda in the Haggadah, Ela shebechol dor vador, omdim aleinu lechaloteinu, v'hakadosh baruch hu matzileinu miadam. In every generation, they rise up and try to destroy us. But the Holy One, blessed be He, saves us from their hand. We hope and pray that the present sufferings will lead to the final chapter of Jewish history. We await the crowning of the Messiah, the descendant of Yehuda, ushering in peace for Israel and all humanity. Shabbat Shalom.